So we were saying this is an exciting time. Like you're finally here. It's about to premiere on Netflix. Like right, what yeah. are your friends? Like how what are you feeling right now? Well, you know, I'm I'm really happy especially with Netflix because I mean, you know, the way I me and my friends actually, me and my generation, we we really consume content through Netflix and it's really great cuz Netflix just has such a huge reach. And you know, it's it's really great because Netflix first of all we're doing a theatrical release, a small theatrical mm-hmm. release. Plus we're releasing on Netflix. So I mean, obviously you have such more reach with uh, with with Netflix and theatrical release than just a theatrical release. And it's such a big film and you of course your role is so important. You like carry it. How do you as a child actor like how did you prepare for this? What was your thought process going into this? Well, yeah, yes. I mean, sir, so for some of the challenges, I mean, I got involved in this back in 2014 when I was just 10 years old. So, I mean, it's been wow. it's been a long time. But I started principal photography when I was just after I turned 11, actually. And, you know, it, it was challenging because based on the storyline, I, I decided to play Mowgli as more of a, like, 14 or 15-year-old. And that was challenging as an 11-year-old because, I mean, obviously you don't have those same experiences as a 14-year-old as I am now, I would have those experiences to draw on and put into Mowgli. But yeah, that was challenging. And as far as the preparation, I mean, I, I did a lot of physical preparation and agility and physical training for this. I mean, I did research on YouTube. I did a lot of push-ups, pull-ups, wind sprints, yeah. running on all fours, a lot of stuff. It was, it was I think it, it turned out pretty well, though. It was challenging, it, it but it did. paid off. It did, and it showed. It clearly shows in the film. It makes <laughs> oh, it exciting. Good, good. So great job on that one. Oh, you, you should be proud of yourself. I want to know, I'm, I'm curious. I know you're so young, but, like, as a journalist and as a black woman journalist, I always feel like, this responsibility of what my voice to be heard for my culture and for my community right, yeah. as a young actor as an Indian American do you feel that responsibility or that pressure or is it more of like something you try not to put too much into well I mean actually for for this I mean we did o- get to open it in India and I, for the world premiere I Amazing. think that was like I believe the first like f- world premiere that that placed in India like wow. besides I think the one before was Gandhi but that was a small screening I believe but I mean just to be able to bring it back to to its roots and be able to really bring it back to the people who love it most and the people who grew up reading that that jungle book is just I think really amazing and I think it's a great opportunity that Netflix that did that and for the film you all actually you shot I know you shot in different places but right. you actually spent time in India well, no, actually, um, the last time I was in India was for this, and the time before that was for Hundred Foot Journey when I was filming. But um, for this, actually, we shot in London, okay. and we brought in these huge plants and everything, and, and you know, real environments really to get get that authenticity. And then we went down to South Africa, actually, mm. to shoot, and that that was really fantastic because we did get to shoot in the real jungle. So. And how was Andy on set? Mm. What was that like? Yeah, I mean, Andy, Andy's just so amazing. He's just obviously he's just such a great actor, and to see him like drop into like into blues just you know it's so so mesmerizing it's like oh my gosh he's so great he really just embodies that character you almost forget you're in that scene then you're gonna be like whoa whoa, whoa I'm in the scene I gotta act too but um yeah that was really great plus him as a director is fantastic because he's really he's really collaborative and he really brings out the best in everyone and you know if, if a line doesn't feel like right or anything he's like he's happy to change it and he's so open to anything that I, any suggestions or anything that I have so what a great yeah. experience so yeah. last Last question. Um, one of my favorite scenes is when Bagheera and Mowgli they look in the deer's eyes and they say right. yeah, yeah, that, that was... you have to look into their eyes mm-hmm. before, so you can be with their soul. Yeah. Um, so that was that was near the beginning of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think that like significance is? What is that message? That well, I think to say? it's saying that you know even uh, obviously they have to kill to survive and to eat or anything. But I, I think it's that that kind of idea that you should value everyone almost if you understand their their meaning in the world, their significance, and I think that that's a really great message actually to be able to kind of show that everyone's unique and everyone everyone almost serves a purpose if you understand what I'm saying. But you know everyone's there for a reason, and even if you're different from someone else, you still should be there. So. Oh, thank you so yeah, much. You. You're Thanks. my favorite interview today. Oh, thank you, you so, so much. Thank you. <laughs>